The Omni 121 antenna from Pointing is certainly our most popular machine-to-machine -machine omnidirectional antenna. The reason why it's so popular is it's a little bit lower cost than the Omni 69, which is the high-end product for machine-to-machine -machine communication. It works on all the cellular bands. It's an omnidirectional antenna, and it's got very good gain at especially the top-end bands. It's got a little lower gain at 900 megahertz. But at 900 megahertz, often you find that the signal strength is in any case sufficient because propagation tends to be better at 900 megahertz. But you can see it's a nice and small antenna with a very easy to mount on any pole type of uh, connection here, which you use a U-bolt for. You can also mount it by screwing it straight against the wall, and that works pretty well. And the other big advantage is that it comes with a 7 meter length of cable, low loss um, coaxial cable, and that often you have to buy extra and you can often find that the piece of cable you have to buy to connect the antenna to could be almost the price of an antenna so extremely convenient to use how does the omnidirectional antenna work omnidirectional antenna got a few elements inside which gives it the higher gain you can see this one is fairly thin which means that it gets most of its elements active at the top end of the frequency band and there you can still get about 5 to 6 dbi gain from this antenna the gain drops to about 1 to 2 dbi at 900 megahertz, which is often still completely adequate because 900 megahertz, as I said before, propagates better and gets received better. The antenna thus still operates at all of the cellular bands, will work regardless of the type of modem or device that you connect at the bottom, comes with a piece of cable, very easy to mount, and is an extremely cost-effective solution for credit card machines, ATMs, metering, and many other applications where you may need a slightly better antenna than a normal indoor antenna with which the devices are typically equipped. Uh, I must also just mention that going outdoors often gains you about 10 to 15 dBi of signal strength. In other words, just taking an antenna from indoors to outdoors gives you about 15 dB gain. This is not only because of the losses that you get with the signal moving through the walls and the, the windows of a building, but inside a building the signal also reflects around and it goes up and down. In other words, it shows all kinds of unpredictable variations. People just moving around inside a building, for example, affects cellular communication inside. The moment you take it outside, you get rid of all of those fluctuations. And that gives you a so-called fading gain. You know, you don't have to cater for those things. It also gives you a stability and reliability that's uh, uh, much more consistent than what you find with a typical indoor antenna uh, where you can just never rely on the same thing tomorrow as what you had today. And even with people moving around, you find a big mess in terms of signal coming on, going off, and uh, you're just never certain that you're going to have the communication that you require. In addition to mounting the Omni 121 using a U-bolt onto a pole or mounting it straight onto a wall, um, lately, and, and that's a pretty recent development, we've developed this very clever little bracket. And to show you what it looks like, and people can try to guess what it's for. But what it's really for is a car window. So you can put a car window into this space here, and then you've got these two bolts sticking out, and you can put the antenna onto the side of a vehicle and use some kind of data device, or perhaps a phone itself, inside the vehicle. Now, the moment you tighten this at the top, you sort of typically get it quite firm. We do not recommend you driving around with an antenna like this, but for emergency applications or when you're on camping and you're often in an area where you may not get strong signal, this type of window mount arrangement could be a real lifesaver. Uh, so we also feel that fire brigades, police, uh, people like that should have one of these with one of these brackets inside a vehicle so that whenever they're in trouble and they cannot get a decent signal, they can just put it on the vehicle and uh, that will help them out and immediately gives them a much stronger signal than what they could get with the device and internal antenna.